Hello friends, welcome to the session. In today's session, we will see how to define variables in pipeline. As you know, variables give you a convenient way to get key bits of data into various parts of the pipeline. The most common use of variables is to define a value that you can then use in your pipeline. All variables are stored as strings and are mutable. So we'll see how to define these variables in the pipeline and then we'll define its scope at the root level or stage or job level or even we can specify the variable outside of the yaml pipeline in the ui so let's get started you can see i have a pipeline already created i'll walk you through this pipeline at the beginning it is a trigger based on which this pipeline will get triggered then the pool where the self agent i'm using to build this then the variables and i have stages stage one which has got jobs and within jobs there are tasks and then there is another stage stage two again it has got a job and one task in it so this is a pipeline i have created now you can set a variable at various scopes you can set at the root level these variables to make it available to all jobs in the pipeline or you can set at the stage level to make it available only to a specific stage or you can set at job level to make it available only to the specific job. Now, when a variable is defined at the top YAML, it will be available to all jobs and stages in the pipeline. And it is a global variable. So how is the scope defined here? Variables at the job level overrides variable at the root and stage level. So if you see here, this job level variables, they will override anything defined in stage or at the root level by the same name. Similarly, variables at the stage level will override variables at the root level. So if any variables are defined at stage level, will override the values of variables at the root level. So let me explain it now here in this setup. So at the root level, I have defined a variable by name global variable and assign a value called this is root level variable. I've also defined another variable override global variable and its value is root. And there is a third variable override global and stage variable and the value is global. So these are three variables at the root level. Now let's go to the stage, stage one. So there is a unique variable, stage variable, and the value is, this is stage one level variable. Second variable is override global variable. Now if you see, this is the same name, but with a new value. And I am expecting that if this variable is not defined at job level, then this is the value it should take because it should override the global variable. I'm also defining override global and stage variable with a new value to it. Again, this value, this variable name is similar to what is already defined at the root level. Now let's see in the job level. I have a new variable, job variable, which has its own unique value. And then there is another variable, same name variable. Now this name is coming from a variable which is defined here on the right side corner up. You can define pipeline UI variables. So if you click here, I have defined the value here. This is pipeline variable. Now this is like a, a root variable, but not in YAML, it's just outside YAML. So I'm overriding the value for that, saying this overrides pipeline variable. Also I've defined a variable, override global and stage variable, value is job. So if you see the scope of the variables, then this variable defined in job will override the stage and root level variable values. Whereas override global variable, this value will override only the root value. Okay, similarly, there is a second stage. If you scroll down further here also, the stage variable, if you see, this is the same stage variable, which is defined in stage one, but the values are different, which indicates that you can have the same name for a variable across different stages with different values to it. And it also overrides a global variable with the new value to it. And similarly in job variables, there is a job variable, which is similar to the name, which is defined in stage one job. If you see here, job variable, but the value for this job variable is different from the value which we'll pass in here. And then this is a task where you can access these values. So now we'll run this pipeline and see the output to confirm how this scope is working for these defined variables. So now the pipeline has run successfully. Let's see the values in both stages, stage one and stage two. And you can see here, this is the global variable, which was defined at the global level, and it's having the value. Then the, this is stage variable, only defined in stage, 
we can access the value in job and this is the job variable again that can be accessed inside the task and if you see here override global variable in stage so this was the variable which was overridden in stage and we can access that value and this is override global and stage variable in job so inside job we define the variable by the same name which was defined in stage and root level but we have overwritten the value and overwrite pipeline variable so you can see here in the ui we defined a variable and we have overwritten the value for that variable also in the stage 2 dash similarly you can see global variable can be accessed stage variable can be accessed in the stage but the variable name is same but the value in stage 2 the value for the variable is different similarly job variable name is same in the stage 2 job but its value is different so you can define variables by the same name in different stages and then you can use them and similarly we have overridden the global variable value which was defined in global and stage and overridden global and stage variable value in job but in pipeline variables we have tried to show you we can access the value as is this is the value which you have set at the pipeline level variable i hope this will help you to create user defined variables and to set their scopes accordingly thank you so much for watching this session we'll see you in the next one thank you